I think it's very important to point out that I may have mismeasured when giving Tristan the bed length. There's actually no turning back now. Like any tight hole, it's always good to lube it up, isn't it? Mole. Hello. Okay. I want to stay in it now, <laughs> mummy. <laughs> made our selections and I'm so excited. It's actually gonna look better than what our house did. <gasps> I'm like next level excited. This is, tell. I'm in my element look right now. Look. look at it, look how Who good. Who would have thought that the back of it, well, this is like, an, it's not just an expedition truck, no. it's gonna be our house. It's our house, so we wanna be comfortable. It's and, gonna look um, rad. Like I just thought, I, I honestly in my mind I thought oh, it'll do if I just build it out of no. fly and everything and now we've actually just upped the ante we and spent never, heaps more. We never do mediocre, we always take everything to the next level so this guys, watch this space because... Now I'll tell you what, the guys at After Dark are absolute wizards like they And it's exciting. He's thinking about shit I haven't even thought about and it's, I go to bed thinking about it every day. And it's exciting to be around them, don't you reckon? Like just... He's like, well, have you thought of this? Have you thought about yeah, doing that? And I'm and like, yeah. And they've yes. never done anything like this either. So we're all really excited because it's going to be one of a kind, this unique fit out. But we're about to show them the beds and hopefully get their uh, opinion on what they reckon. Uh, should we give a little bit of an update as to where we're at as well and timelines as well? Oh, uh, yeah, well, an, an update is... We're moving I, quick. Um, um, this is also about a week and a half past when Carsten said, mate, I'm going to have this done in three weeks. So I'm just putting that out there. Let's we'll see what she's doing here. <laughs> I we'll said, you see. sure you want to put that pressure we'll on We'll see what she's doing here. <sighs> That's what we're doing now, is making sure that the beds work with the design. Mm -hmm. Then they start make, mocking up some templates and boxes and we test fit. Mm -hmm. Canvas goes on in a week and a half. But we're going to try and get him to do it a little bit quicker. Yeah, I'm going to go and, go and punch him, but we'll and see. Also, we'll see. we can get started on the lino. So we can install the lino before all of this happens. Now yeah, if we it. order that lino, but yeah. to do the lino, I have to remove the, the girl's seats. So I've got to pull the seats out and then I've got to do all the lino in the area that can be seen. So now that the dirty work and the welding has finished mm -hmm. and the... Um, that was tiring yesterday. Yeah, yeah, big day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> now that all the welding's finished, um, that has to go in and, uh, at a point that it, and it can't get destroyed because yes. look at it, bloody, it's bloody beautiful. What a productive day. Bloody productive day. <laughs> are you on a high? I am on a high, but well... <laughs> Things are happening. I'm not seeing results, but results are happening. Yes. So, um, we've been out there to After Dark Design today. We have. Um, Everything's been chosen, which is good. We just left there and we've rocked up here to the canvas man. Mm -hmm. So those guys did all of the canvas, all of the custom stuff on the combi, which lasted so well. And it's a family run business. I need to say this because it's a father and son. They remind me very much of you and your dad. They look <laughs> identical, but it's just nice to know that we're supporting such an awesome family run business. That's it, yeah. Um, but we've got we've dri driven the big rig in there now. So the Ocker's in there, we're measuring up for the pop top canvas um the reason is now that we've got the beds in we can work out the angles of the bed so um well, they're in there doing all the measuring and all the uh final stuff now and just sitting in there we came up with another idea so obviously we've got um you've seen what tristan um was able to do with the the little handrail for zuri which is great it means she's not going to roll out of bed but then the other issue that we had is xena is going to be sleeping in the bed with us yes. now that's like a nearly an, a 15, 1600 mil fall if she mm. falls off the off the bed. A little bit higher than the combi. Yeah, a little bit higher than the combi. <laughs> but what they've got, um, what these guys make for a lot of people who have caravans is it's kind of like a protection barrier. I'll put a picture up, uh, up on the screen now, roughly what it's gonna look like. So you'll see here, it completely encloses that bunk. Now the plan is on our bed, we're gonna have the same thing. It's going to be attached to the pop top and our bed and it will, fold out of the way so when the bed's up it's it's up in the bed somewhere when it comes down it turns our bed into a completely enclosed little safe area so Zena can't fall out when she when we put her to sleep it's funny how we hadn't even thought about that but these guys said oi we've got the best idea so that's what's good about coming to places mm -hmm. like this and you know not just buying things online because you don't always get what you want online but mm -hmm. when you chat to the actual guys who are there making it yeah 
um, you'll get what you need and it'll be fit for purpose. We'll keep you guys posted, but we're moving really quick in terms of yeah. all of the things that are happening. So Kitchen next week. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know where our episodes are up to at this point. We're just filming um, everything. We're just filming everything. So things are just going to happen when they happen. Mm. The next few things are just um, getting electrical components up on the roof, air con, mm -hmm. solar panels. Mm -hmm. Then next week, the kitchen starts getting uh, rough fitted mm -hmm. and then uh, the canvas goes on maybe next week or the week after mm -hmm. but it's all within the next two weeks things oh, are going to look and, very livable and I just need to say honestly doing this with two kids and we've had two two sick kids yeah. has it's been a challenge so we've got the energy today which is nice but it surely hasn't been like that every day <laughs> next aircon now we were torn with what aircon we were going to use. So we plan to take this truck into some extremely hot conditions at stupid times of the year. So we're talking 40 plus, 40 degrees Celsius plus. Um, now there's some units that you can put underneath the bench, so under bench air cons. Now we were looking at that because you can tuck it away, you haven't got this big thing on top of your roof, but the issue there was it exhausts out the floor and what we plan to do is do some pretty hectic water crossings and mud and all those things and the last thing we want is water ingress up into that air conditioner so they're great for things like buses and motorhomes and stuff like that who are generally just staying on the asphalt with the occasional dusty road um, but we plan to do a lot of water crossings so we're going to have to run the aircon up on the roof now the downside of that is it's just that little bit more height right so there's the chances of a branch taking the aircon off all right check this thing out this looks schmicko that is tidy as it's not that well yeah, there's a bit of weight in it but that's why we did the actuators i am in love so yeah that's the dometic fresh jet series seven um look how spot that is not that big really is it it's 225 mil which let's like that's that's next to nothing really. By the time I get my solar panels on, they'll be sitting about here. And then I can do scrub bars. I'll put scrub bars on the side of the ocker and we should get pretty pretty close to that height. Um, yeah, I'm stoked with that, that's sick. Solar panels. Smoke. There we go. I'm gonna give you a look at where we're at here. So, solar, aircon, solar, solar, solar. Look at that, just overhanging by about 10 mil. That is a great use of space. Now, these areas here, there, and over here, we're thinking of like a, some sort of roof fan on this side. Then on this side, I'm going to hard mount our Starlink. So that might be a video in itself. The funny thing is I'll be watching somebody else's YouTube video on how to do it. And then I'll be showing you how I do it based on how they did it, which doesn't really, I should just tell you what video to watch. But guys, this here, you'll see here, this is the, this is the setup, I reckon. So this is what we're gonna be working on today. What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. I built these the other day, Max, you weren't here. Um, but these are the solar panels. This is the front one, the front two actually, and that's the rear two. You'll see here, that's the aluminium that will adhere to the pop top, but we had to do some mods to get it to clear bits and pieces. So we're going up to test fit it again. And if everything has clearance, well then we can glue it down. What we should do is get another a big blanket at the back. So when we put that, we can put on a blanket and slide it up and yeah. instead of lifting. You just got to agree with him, because he just gets upset if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> just because you're older doesn't mean you're smarter, does it, Dad? It does. It All right, it's hard to get these cables in, but it's working. I like to spit, you know. 
Like any tight hole, it's always good to lube it up, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit of spit works, worked on the other one. It's going all limp on me. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Yeah, doggy. That's going to be so good. So the, um, you'll see the points back here. They're all, they're all in and uh, T-Rex down. I'm just waiting for all those to set before I go through and give them a proper um, sealing. But um, I've moved on to the aircon. There it is down there. So that's the Dometic um, Fresh Jet Light Series 7. Um, it's the smallest sort of one and lowest, you know, as far as profile that we could um, get. But it also pumps out a heap of air. So when it is at 40 something degrees, we're not going to struggle. Anyway, this here, that is where I'm about to bloody cut a hole. And I am shitting myself because I've, de I've dead set measured this about a hundred times now. And I'm still like, but is it right? But is it right? And is it going to rain? And will I fuck it? Maybe. Um, Dad's not here, but anyway, um, I'm just following the instructions. It says to um, drill holes in the corners, which you normally do when using a jigsaw, and then just run the jigsaw from corner to corner, and hopefully, hopefully I don't fall through the roof. It doesn't ruin the structural side of things. It also said um, about putting reinforcement in there. Now, I spoke to Ocker, and they said you won't have to. It's a high-density foam, so that... That I'm, oh yeah, that's that's lucky because I didn't really feel like digging foam out and putting timber in there. It just sort of felt, just didn't feel right doing that to a expensive truck. Um, anyway, I'm about to, um, I'm about to do it. Far out. This is stupid. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it. Hey, I left the hood, I said I would. I left the hood, I said I would. I was caught up in a situation. Put a bomb in your body. I did take a long vacation. No doubt, that's none of them mad. There's actually no turning back now. This is crazy. What am I doing? Yeah, the stupid thing is, I could have just paid someone to do this, but I've got this problem where I can't bring myself to pay someone to do something that I can do. Kind of worked out spot on perfect as far as position. You'll see here we've got um, Zena's bed, my bed or our bed, and that's where the aircon kind of sits. It's sort of spot on. It'll go over there a little bit, but the main bulk of the unit is going to sit here in this walkway, which is kind of how we wanted it to be. So I am really, 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 really happy about that. Um, yeah, now you'll see here. Oh. That, see how dense that foam is? Like that is, there's no bubbles in that at all. Um, and that's quite a clean cut. So I'm really happy about that. I guess I've got to just wait for dad now. There's not, there's no way I'm getting that unit up on the roof. Um, I think the next step is um, I've got a, there's sort of like a seal. I'll show you. Actually, I'll show me because I don't, I don't exactly know what I'm doing here. Um, here, um, my guess, it says forward, four by four this side up, nope, that one, there we go, look at that, tight, so, that is the seal, now I don't really trust that, so I'm going to glue the absolute hell out of it and um, what I found up the back here, little tiny screws, it actually worked. I was a bit skeptical whether or not screws were going to hold into the fiberglass, but it did pull it in tight and it only has to pull it in enough to make that seal to get that glue to go off. So that's 
that's a win. I've taken a note out of pretty much every caravan builder's uh, guidebook, which is to sicker the absolute hell out of it when it's on the roof, because no one sees it. That's why the roofs of every caravan look like dog's balls. I'm, I have used an entire tub, an entire tube of that. Now, it said to, um, it just, yeah, it, it said put a bead of it, so I have. I've put bead, a bead, two, two of beads on there. So this is going to stick down. God help whoever ends up buying this ochre in however many uh, centuries time from us, because they're not getting this off. I can guarantee you that. This stuff is not going to move. But what I'll do now is I'm going to go around the edge of that and get that down and seal the, that completely the whole way around. No water's getting in there. Oh, Jesus. 1.30. Aircon's on. I've completely forgot to film actually fitting it. Dad got home. Um, it was kind of a, you know, we had to try and get it up there. It was a bit of a rush, but everything bolted to rip together pretty easy. Once we cut, once I cut that hole and sickered that, um, that's that thing down. Um, it was as simple as just putting the aircon on top, putting the piece underneath four bolts done, torque them up and it just sort of pulls them, sandwiches it all together and that's it. So it's not, it wasn't as. I think, I think the daunting thing is cutting a hole in your roof, obviously. But other than that, um, fitting an aircon to your caravan or whatever it be is easy as. The hardest bit's for trying to find how you get the, the power there. So with ours, we're having to run that along the roof. So I've had to go into the side of the, of the panel and then up into the roof and then put one of those um, waterproof things that I showed you earlier that um, seals the, the cable. So once you figure out how you're going to get the power to it it's pretty simple um you could run it across the ceiling if you want you could have it across the roof so yeah i've done roof in a 15 amp um uv stable extension cord and then i'm going to wrap that in conduit as well conduit uh and that'll go all the way to the back and then comes back down into the into the corner down to the inverter da 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 da, da. so yeah guys that's that one there done um Tomorrow we'll be putting in the air fan. It will be tidying up the wires on the roof, putting in the reverse cameras. Plus it also uh, is a dash cam as well. Um, so that replaces, it's as simple as just replacing the, the one that we had. So that'll go on hopefully tomorrow. If I can get those done and the solar panels on the roof um, tomorrow, I will be over the moon. So righto, see you tomorrow. Right, eh? we're back at it. Um, had my coffee, everything's good. Um, I just started, I've been putting the GoPro on charge by the way, that's why I've progressed beyond where you guys think I have. So you'll see here, holes drilled, just started to cut this. Um, that's where the air fan will go. Um, I was a bit worried about the structural integrity of the roof here um with cutting another hole but um this stuff here is real strong so we should be okay and i'm gonna put extra support through there like ribs just to um stiffen it up dad's up there smacking away but yeah we're um so we're, we're gonna put that max fan max air fan in now um it's just a matter of drilling four holes jigsaw and then glue the shit out of it really um And that, my friends, is a hole in the bloody roof. Rightio, today is the day where I'm um, dropping the ochre off to the canvas man um, to get our pop top all done and a few other bits and pieces. So it'll be up here for the next couple of days um, getting done. Um, we're just about to rock in here now. Um, he's put together a CAD 
uh, pro like use the CAD program to um, show us roughly what it's going to look like and then we can start making a few changes here and there. So throughout the next day or so I'll be up here a couple of times just to get some footage of the process of how it all, how it all comes together. So yeah, we're pretty excited because this is a pretty major point. Um, we've been unable to go away camping in it, or, you know, just for a cheeky weekend or a, a night here or there. Just just because we haven't got that that cover to sort of protect us from the elements and the um, the bugs and whatnot, because the beds are done. But anyway, guys, we're about to rock in. I've got the girls in the back. Maxine's in another car behind me. And um, yeah, Zena has been losing it for the majority of this drive. Very important job. Where's your iPad? It's in the car. I'll get it so I can measure it. Oh, thank you. We're going to measure your iPad, Zoo. Oh, that'll be perfect. Are you excited to have a little iPod? iPod? iPod. Ice pod pod? An ice pod pod? pod? Are you excited to have an iPad spot in the office? Yeah? yeah. Finish. That is pimp. I like that, I like yeah. that a lot. Matt, look at this. That looks way better than the glossy one, doesn't it? Love that. That is nice. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It just grabbed it with its little hands. that there is a pocket for where Zuri can put some of her stuff so we've done a little pocket there that's one of the main windows and so is this so that'll um, go on the same angle as the bed so our bed goes up along there and so that way we can still access that window when the bed's up Happy? Things so, are happening. I'm yeah. so happy. The guys are, are just, smashing that out. I love that they love what they're doing and they just know what they're doing as oh, well. Oh, you can see. They're just a well-oiled machine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's it with us here today. Mm -hmm. um, they're soldiering on with that. They're, we'll return tomorrow. Yeah, they're going to stitch it all together. So everything's going to be stitched. Mm -hmm. And they're probably going to get our screen door done today and installed. We won't be here. And then tomorrow we're coming back mm -hmm. and they're going to be installing the whole thing. Yeah, so, so it'll be completely finished tomorrow. It's it's a little bit surreal actually because we've been waiting for this for so long. Well, it's been like that for too long. Like it's just been... So I'm glad these guys are able to fit us in and, and I know it's... But you're waving. You're waving, mate. Also, do, you know what's, do you know what's funny what? about this life right now? So, yep, houseless. Also, you know, we've been driving the Ocker around and now look what we're in. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful oh, little. Oh, I Corolla. feel. Oh, it is. It is <laughs> disgusting. Number one, you feel like you're. You just feel like you're so small, and then the accelerator is incredibly touchy. Thanks, feels... mum. Though, by the way, thank you, mum. Yeah. We are staying at my mum's house at the moment. We're sleeping on the floor. We're borrowing her car. Thank but it does feel much. like a race car. It feels like I'm in a little tiny, like zippy race car. It's um. But anyway, guys, we'll um. We'll be back here tomorrow, and we'll show you the progress. See you then. Bye. All right, guys, we left our GoPro at home. Um, well, we didn't leave the GoPro. I just forgot to put the um, SD card in. Um, but luckily, we've got Maxine's phone. So we are back here at the Canvas Man, um, and we're going to... See the 
the progress. Suss out this progress. Um, we are a bit early. Like he did are say, we? come back around lunchtime, but um, I feel like they're fast workers. They're his fast workers. I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised. All right, let's, let's go get have in a there look. and have a look. I was mesmerized by your eyes. You keep me up every night. You keep me up every night. There ain't no satisfaction for me now. There ain't no satisfaction for me now. There ain't no satisfaction for me now. Now that you're gone, now that you're gone, now that you're gone. The canvas man, my God, absolute wizards. They are so clever and it is spot on perfect. Look at that, look how tight that is, that's great. All right, Maxine left me the important job of uh, organizing the mattress. Now she had a few, well, a few rules, a few rules on, you know, it had to be comfortable and da da da. Anyway, our mattresses are somehow in these boxes, Max. Something's There's not some adding up here. There's something about I can't imagine a mattress is going to be overly comfortable well, if it comes one, in a on, box hang on, hang on, hang the on. size of my leg. Hang on, for one it doesn't say mattress, it says topper, so pretty sure they go on top of a of mattress. A mattress. Ooh. Yeah, because we haven't got a lot of room and whatever it is, like our mattresses need to compress when all of this goes, when the roof comes down, so, oh no, it looked good on there internet well i, I reckon you open them up and we actually see if they <laughs> <laughs> if they increase that's Corey there that's, that's my brother how you doing he's my uh older brother actually <laughs> you wish you wish no he's my younger brother Corey's gonna hit the road everyone so if you see him out there in a little <laughs> he's not uh, if you see him out there in like a little suzuki that's him um right oh mattress time we're all really interested <laughs> Wow. Max, that looks about the right. That looks pretty comfy. Is this is this just gonna spring out and be like super comfortable? No, 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 hold this and we'll, we'll see. Still doesn't look overly comfortable, does it, my friends? I'm not stoked at this I'm point in time. I'm not stoked on this either. If anyone's in the market for a 100 mil mattress topper, just reach out. We might have one sitting in the shed. Oh God. That looks so comfy, Max. Look. Should I try? How long does it take to get big? <laughs> I'm gonna jump on. No, Max, I'm set. Let's give it time. Give it That's 10 centimeters. No, it's not. It's about 20. Oh, uh, yeah. Oi, 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 oi. What? It takes one to three days for it to expand. What? Oh, thank God for that. Um. I think it's very important to point out that I may have mismeasured when giving Tristan the bed lengths. Um. Corey, I had a specific length that I agreed on and <laughs> hey, this, that's pretty comfy. this was not the length I agreed on. What about the other way? Oh, that's perfect. That is not perfect. Can you zip that down and put your feet out the back? No. Do you want to do that in the snow? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know the other problem is, you know how like I've said it's okay, you can hang your feet over? We've got that screen that we're putting up for Xena so she doesn't fall off. Oh, what about diagonal? So I've actually got to, I'll just be sleeping. Hang on. Like this. That's all right, this is pretty good. Try diagonal. You're really not going to sleep that long. Like, yeah, like I very rarely do that. So I'll be more like, you know, oh, so sleepy. Can I test it? There's not a lot of room up here, is there? Way more than the combi, but... <laughs> Jump up. Come on. Pressure. Up you get. Hang on, hang on. Do you know what? Me? I'm going to try something else. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Mate, I just got my truck license. Fun fact, I everybody. My brother was... Uh, <laughs> my brother was in the circus. Yep. Not as a clown. Not as a clown. I would have been the clown if I was in the Mate, circus. You said you measured this. What's There's wrong? more room on the side. Yeah, you but could look, have gone that's the bigger mattress. No, but that's the. There's like an edge thing there. This is good. This is good. Is the mattress meant to be? <laughs> hey. Maybe you've got the um the width and the length. No, no. Like we're right. good. We're good. Because you got to think. You got a doona. You got everything. You can't go too far. Why? 
Well, we it can that? only stay inside these bits of steel here. This is the right size. This is a double. Was it a double bed? All right, now lay, lay down with me, man. So you now come up because you're come not up. here with us too. <laughs> All right, this is kind of what it's going to look like. Lay down, Max. Come on, bedtime. Go to sleep. <sighs> Corey, you could be Zena. I mean, you could be. Z Don't be Zena. Be <laughs> Zuri. <laughs> Oh, Max, look at that. Come on. Imagine that with a beach view. Sit no, here with our coffee. Look at our, oh, look at that beach. Oh, wow. Wow. oh look at those barra. The barra out there. Mm. Everyone, what do you reckon, Zena? Is that barra? Yeah? Yeah, we got barra. <laughs> so, wow. Look at us matching. Oh, we are matching again. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, lay down. But that's pretty calm. That's pretty good, eh? <sighs> Oi, this feels real now, doesn't it? Like, we've actually got a house. This is like this? the beginning of our house. And I'm going to do this. <laughs> Stretch. Delivery. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, I think we're going to cut that one to size. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling I'm going to have to cut that one to size. What do you reckon? No, that's perfect. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I might get under that today. I might slice and dice it. Corey, jump up. Jump up, mate. It'll hold your. Do what I it'll do. hold your your full 60 kilos. Oh, he's got arm strength. I told you he was a bloody circus. He was a circus. Oh, yeah. was a, uh, this is lovely. That will do, hey? Yeah, this is good. Yeah. I like this. You can come for a sleepover. Yeah. Look, like, <laughs> like, let's be honest, Corey, if we've had, if we've had 12 cans, it doesn't matter where you're laying, <laughs> yeah. does it? Do you know what? Down, just in best dress. Down, be matter. down below also turns into a bed. There'll be a bed down below us too, Corey. Yeah. For when you come over and... Yeah. Visit us whilst we drive through Somalia. Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> you keep putting all of these new places <laughs> on our list. I don't even know where Somalia is. I think it's Africa, isn't it? I, I'm pretty sure it's dangerous there, but we'll go there. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, this is nice though. I'm liking this a lot. I don't want to go. It's starting to feel, I don't want to go back to a house now. I just want to stay in this now. Oh, okay. I want to stay in it now, mommy. <laughs> Right, I'm dropping the pop top now. We've got this bed in place. I just want to see how it compresses and how everything works. Um, there's so much to keep an eye on. So the thing is, you don't want it to like pinch out on something where an actuator breaks or fucking collapses the roof in. I think that's where having, I keep talking about this control system, if I can get that, if I can get that happening, I'm laughing, that's in, that's all good. It's just gonna be a process, I think. Oh, talking to your friends in the camera again. I'm talking to, to all my friends in the uh, camera. Uh, don't let the camera get squished. Oh yeah, the camera's about to get squished. Let's have a look. That is good. That is good. No, like that's held down tight. So that's that's actually pulled down way tighter than it used to. Because these bent, Max, these bent and they dropped. You know what? Once we had all our bedding on, AKA pillows, doona, all of that stuff, there's not a lot of room left. There's, there's about a hundred mil up there. So there's enough for doona and pillow up there. That's why these have to pull down tight. Yeah, ideally it'll be good not to have to move stuff around and just leave it in its spot. I think by using those memory mattresses, that's mm. going to end up well because they will compress. Oh yeah. Well, we saw how small they were. Yeah, so we the know box. they can go at least 10 <laughs> mil. So that's good. It means that, yeah, that's, that is good. I'm, I'm happy about that. Right, well that happened and nothing broke and I'm just feeling really excited laying up there. That felt real then, didn't it? And it felt like home. It felt very good. Like it's, it felt like we were camping. <laughs> ah, that was a bloody cold night. We said this morning, love, hate, relationship, love being in there, hated being cold. So what we learned was it was incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> so we need to add a bit more oomph to the mattress mm -hmm. and we need to get that heater up and running ASAP. And we need dunas. I was using just the doona cover all night, frozen down. We're going to have a shower. Yeah, a hot shower, shower and this will get us back to normal.